that Shimu is definitely going to be in the new Godzilla X Kong movie. But what we don't know is a lot about this character. I mean, we know that it's an ice kaiju. It's got the ice breath. It can freeze things. But what more can we find out about it? Today's video should let us know some things. It is by Goji Center, and the video is titled Titan is Shimo Explained. So let's see it. Today, let's see it, brother. The analysis platform will feature let me know how excited are you for this movie. Of proportions never seen before. Dwarf I'm up there King Kong, in excitement. Scar King, Godzilla, and even maybe the current largest titan in the monster the current Ghidorah. largest is it gonna be That's bigger right. than Ghidorah? entered the monster verse make sure you stay Ooh, warm that ice because breath. things are about to get chilly he Coming said up, stay titanus, warm titanus shimo explained Shimo Let's go. is one of those titans that was more or less leaked long before an official reveal whenever the figure started appearing We, we knew stores. Shimo was leaked but long before the know, camera, was before the teased long action before figures. Any of these leaks we saw the Frozen Lake. Oh, before this? Titan in the Back in 2022, Call oh, of Duty Warzone launched Operation Monarch, featuring a map where players got to interact with Godzilla, shoot Kong in the... ...and witness some really in the cool what? easter eggs throughout the map. I do remember this, this though. I remember this, this particular cave art featured Godzilla squaring off against a really large How did Godzilla or how did Call of Duty monster. Most get this leak? Speculated this to be a random piece of placeholder artwork, but others suspected this was a I new thought it was just yet to be released. These suspicions turned out to be true as rumors of a massive kaiju with crystals on its back began to emerge. So sick, Eventually, man. this would be known as Shimo. The Shimo. massive and first titan in the monster. It was actually lore. Shimo for a long time, right? This is Remember? Yet another example of a Everybody kept seeing or saying inevitable Shimo. big white colored addition to their roster of creatures. Take the Indominus Rex, for example. Ice Age's Rudy. How to Train Your Dragon's Bewilderbeast, just to name a few. Mm -hmm. Now, in the MonsterVerse, we we have Shimo. Official information Shimo's about Shimo all of them, is not really limited team. as of now, but by not looking in at its abilities in the, the most recent trailers and also knowing what its full body looks like, we can make some really well-educated guesses as to how this creature behaves, what its proportions are, and how it fights. I'm high. Having said this, here's a potential spoiler warning before you spoiler proceed. Spoiler warning? Compiling Just keep watching. It's all this data will go okay. ahead and bring forth a good speculative model of what Shimo actually looks like in our analysis platform. She's ready for viewing. And here she, she comes. is ready right. for viewing. Shimo is confirmed to be female, the mother okay, of so it's all a she. kaijus. We'll the explain this more later in this kaiju. episode. I like but for that. now, let's cover some physical attributes of this monster. How did she get locked up by Scar episode, King? Goji Center collaborated with Dope Pope, who not only provided us with an excellent that. 3D model of Shimo Ooh, for your Dope viewing, Pope. but also e. the one responsible for designing Titanus Tiamat, also okay. rumored to appear in Godzilla Kong: The New Empire. I, I, I showed that video. Okay, that never mind. Us Actually, I had to delete that. I'll take it back. Titan actually is is this clip seen in the trailer it's been shared around the internet quite a bit mostly because it does a really good job at you can see all of how them. big she is on all fours she it is seems huge, like Shimo bro. rivals the size of an upright evolved Godzilla it's now, crazy that point, on all this fours episode is released, she's just as tall as Godzilla size for evolved on two. Godzilla but our best guess is that Straight this evolved up. form did get a bit taller at least while standing okay. upright a little bit now, taller if we use this clip as reference and scale Shimo we see that this type bro. can not only be close to as tall as Godzilla but also Mon much taller rearing up and if she stands much, up much much taller than any titan in the monster verse to give you fun speculative comparisons we That's could compare sick. this with some of the largest kaijus in the franchise Lengthwise, okay don't we have poke. a titan like tiamat who is said to be 847 feet i in wonder length. what Compared that monster is going to do in the, mass, in the movie like tiamat like, where's, is in every single where's tiamat going to play Keep a part in mind that tiamat is no pushover Probably one of the strongest titans currently. Now, but Tiamat now is savage. embarrassingly small compared to Shimo. That looks Another so big good. Fella is Titanus Shout Mabuzo, out to them. 322 feet tall Don't at the poke. shoulder, capable of having lots of different geological formations on his back. Shimo seemingly dwarfs Methuselah, even with the mountain that he carries How? with him everywhere. It's crazy. Ghidorah, what about Ghidorah, though? I want to see them side by side. feet in height. Much taller than Godzilla, but Shimo, if reared up, can look Bro. down at Ghidorah and bite off its three puny heads with one jump. Nah, no, that's crazy. We have a very special theory coming up that talks more about this. Just I'm so excited watching. for this movie. 
Because of this gargantuan mass, we will speculate Dumbo! that this is automatically so nice. the heaviest titan in the MonsterVerse known so far. Much of the weight might come from the denser portions of the body, such as the like crystals that in the movie. on her dorsal. That's sick. The arrangement of these crystals is suspiciously similar to those of Godzilla. It is similar. Arranged along her back, similar. coming all the way down to the tail, these could serve a very similar function as Godzilla's dorsal plates. Lighting up while powering up its main weapon, or simply serving as an intimidation display as well. In default form, these are a mixture of purple and In blue. In default but we form, we could guess that these can light up. Either they're gonna light up. That's gonna be so sick, blue, man. Purple or white, perhaps, matching its lighter skin, which in conjunction so could excited. serve as camouflage in frigid areas. Here, for example, most people will not even see Shimo from afar. Yeah, you can barely her see her. Well, we we saw her. Blends her, her, in her. With the frigid environment she's surrounded by. Okay, so it's evident by now that this kaiju is synonymous so with freezing sick, temperatures man. and special abilities that exploit freezing elements. For example, notice in these clips that the mere presence of Shimo is cold enough to freeze the surrounding environment. I didn't even see it's that. It's evident by now that How Shimo did I not see that in, the in some sort of cave veiled by lava waterfall. Even in this really, really hot environment, Shimo, upon stepping out of the cave, is so cold that even her presence will freeze the ground that was moments ago burning hot because of the lava. Her presence mm, alone I did not see that in the, the temperature of this place, making it more habitable to the great apes that live here. This cold phenomenon is mind blowing already just by her sitting around. Now I can't get over that bottle. That bottle looks this sick, thing. dude. Her body Those crystals? Being this cold could even make her impact more powerful. Let's study this a little bit more. Given her proportions and the colossal size of these limbs, especially the front ones, will make any melee attack from Shimo a lot more deadly. That's facts. Her arms alone are massive enough to outclass and you gotta think of the strength that she's gonna have, bro. In frontal combat. So much meat yes, on those bones. Probably even Godzilla. She's about to be muscular. Look at, the difference look at those arms. Reach. This impact, along with the frigid temperatures, will spell and just the size of her. Makes contact with this kaiju. Freezing any what do you got? Are you Team Shimo or Team Godzilla? So Let me know in the comments. I gotta see it. One of the abilities, Frostbite Blast. Before we break down Shimo this ability, or Godzilla. let's move down to a That's weapon that kill with one impact. I got G. Agamizer. This ferocious-looking weapon is seemingly made out of the same material as its dorsal spikes, formed in a way that can look like sharp obsidian blades. Beautiful model. These mounted of course, on a long good. tail, powered by these hips, can wind up enough energy to fatally lacerate any, yes, any kaiju with just one hit. Seeing this thing come at your face is nothing but certain death. Yeah, that's kind of terrifying. Any it looks like a Shimo seems nothing. What's it called? Like a spear scepter or something like that? More. In the trailer, we were introduced to Shimo's Frostbite Blast. This clip begins with the trail of a blast that was already we obviously fired saw this towards part. Kong. Kong regains his footing and grabs his axe to see if he can block this shot in the same way Barely he blocked blocking. Godzilla's atomic blast back in GBK. This ability, unlike Still hurts Godzilla's, his arm, cannot be fully absorbed by the axe. Just a little bit, though. However, the cold freezing effects of this frostbite blast prove to be too much for Kong, who gets knocked back hundreds of feet while he feels his arm get covered in ice. Hey, shout out Goji Center. Frostbite this one is beautiful. Blast, this ability injures Kong this episode's to the point nice. of needing to be equipped with the Beast Glove. This clip showcases his injured arm underneath. Frostbite has the ability of rendering the affected muscles useless, injuring them to the point of permanent damage. So in this film, in order for Kong to continue fighting, he will strongly depend on this apparatus to give him a fighting chance 100%. against any kaiju. This dangerous ability comes out of this the animal's Beast colossal Club. head and mouth. Proportionally speaking, I would this probably animal say is Shimu, technically large enough to potentially Shimo grab would definitely any of these be great apes definitely. and easily bite their heads off. It wouldn't even be close. Them in the act. Like that. So now that we have a pretty basic understanding on what but Shimo Godzilla, can do, what do you think? try to figure out more of the dark side Evolve of this Godzilla. Titan, its lore, and its most dangerous ability. Ooh, I like that. The synopsis of I Godzilla like that. Kong, go. the new empire, reads that both Godzilla and Kong face a colossal threat hidden within the planet. And that's challenging facts. Challenging their existence and the survival of the human race. Challenging their now existence. Now that we know who Shimo is and what she's capable of, the this synopsis makes exist. total sense now. 
After all, Shimo is said to have started the Ice Age thanks to her ability to change the climate. This may I mean, be her most destructive makes ability sense. after all. Note that we didn't say anything about weather manipulation, but climate manipulation. There's mm. a big difference. Let us explain. So Shimo was the reason for climate change. Short-term atmospheric up. conditions. Examples of this are rainy days, occasional snow that She's falls done. during the winter, hail, thunderstorms, sunny days, etc. Climate, however, refers to weather patterns by region. My boy just turned into a Florida, meteorologist. Probably accustomed to Let's go, Gucci. Warm climates. Those who live relatively closer to the poles will experience fresh climates year-round. Beautiful. The thing is, Shimo here has the ability of changing climates. Yeah, she can just turn that around. Is a so you like, the, you like the sun? Remember, Let me change that. capable of starting ice ages can manipulate the atmosphere She's in a given area to turn cold. Rio de Janeiro, for example, lies within a tropical climate. Temperatures are fairly warm year-round. Mm -hmm. Summer down here falls between December and January, while winter and runs I wouldn't see June they... to August. Yeah, the snow is not really a problem. Equation, like Shimo. She can potentially switch things up permanently. She can change that. here, but around the globe. That's right. This is what the synopsis means when it says challenging the survival of the human race. How? Can't we just put coats on and be fine with a little bit of ice? <laughs> mm. No. Not Rigid if it's doing that. Like the oh my. Scene in the ice age will <laughs> what was that from? Change up the dynamics of human survival around the world. To very quickly and simply explain this, let's ignore for a moment that a colossal kaiju is roaming around killing everything and oh, focus yeah. just on the effects of an ice age. Let's forget about that. Humans need food. Yes? Well, guess Correct. what? A lot of the agricultural goods produced around the globe are going to be unable to be grown. That's Some facts. areas will be too cold for living. Eventually, most of the planet would be freezing, making Dang. most land inhospitable So she could just wipe life. everything out, but what would she? Least. Overcrowding will occur and resources I don't feel like she would do that. Then low, she would start, right? Death tolls to rise due to starvation and self-inflicted Unless she just wants to destroy An abrupt everything. ice age like this would not give us any time to prepare for impending doom, and a lot of human life on the planet will be lost. Yeah, that's Shimo for you, a walking weapon of mass extinction, currently Dang. doing the bidding of Scar King. Oh yeah, this brings us to some of the deep lore we promised to explain. See, I need to know this how Scar monster, King is as controlling. as powerful as it is, is controlled by Scar King, or is by one way or another under the influence of this great ape. Do we know how this is happening? Speculations all over the place on Ooh, how this relationship works. What do you all think? We'll go ahead and guess it has something to do, do with theories? this crystal found at the very tip of the whip. We did see which, that. Which, if we look closely, resembles something that belongs to Shimo. We'll guess that Scar King some long time ago stole possession of this crystal and mounted it on some form of subjugating weapon, such as this whip, which in turn sort of acted as a way to bond Shimo to Scar King's will. We okay, I mean, a hey, that's like a this solid could theory. already dispatch lots of different kaijus. And if it was turned against the great apes, it's no wonder how Scar King was able right, to amass Peter a giant <laughs> army of apes. That would be bad. Using Shimo as a way to intimidate others, used as a power symbol to amass the following of an ape army, hey, and execute it those is a power symbol for sure. apes that don't seem to collaborate. The biggest titan? So, in a way, Shimo is similar to what the Rancor is to Jabba the Hutt. Pew! As a means of executing by making the victim an example of him, and even as some Job. form of entertainment. Can this link be broken, though? If we're speculating that Shimo he did not just compare Shimo to Jabba. King, would it be possible that Shimo can be in some or maybe way that was Scar King to Jabba. Maybe. I'll if take we that. entertain the idea that this crystal has anything to do with this link, the destruction of it may imply that Shimo is free from Scar King's influence. And then and she fights him. turn on its captor, who mm. previously had it doing stuff that may or may not have been things Shimo would normally do. Solid Using theory. The whip as either a way to tell it what to do or even calling Shimo by name. Oh yeah, don't think just because these animals are kaijus will throw out the possibility that Scar King can talk. This is a wild card, but there's no mention as to you how never Shimo know, bro. was named. Even Chimpanzees though the word are smarter. Shimo means pit or hole in Swahili or and Kong ice can or do frost the, in you Japanese, know the... This word is suspiciously similar syllable-wise to Sign Sugo, language. who happens to also I don't be know part anybody. of this ape tribe. So Kong can. It is possible that these Kong great apes than me. communicate verbally amongst each other, associating names to individual members of the clan. Those of note, at least, and one definitely given to Shimo. This is a theory, but one definitely plausible to a sophisticated clan of great apes. I'm not mad at that theory, bro. If you guys have any theories of what that what that thing could be or what's controlling Shimu that's different, let me know in the comments. But for right now, thank you for watching with me. I will see you guys tomorrow. I love y'all. Goodbye.